Hi guys, Hirsty from Down Under. Um, recently I shared on my YouTube channel a preview of an attract mode theme I'm working on which is called Game Room. Uh, it was a fair bit of work. Um, just made it for myself but I thought I oh, should probably share it with the community. Uh, attract mode is always a bit trickier than emulation station, not only in the coding but you know, just uh, for people who don't really know how to had to use the track mode themes can be a bit tricky. Just a few things straight up. I've made it for a track mode on PC. I haven't even attempted to use it on a Pi. In theory it should work, but I don't really even have a Pi image these days. I don't sort of game much or anything. I just like making things, so I just make them and share them. Um, it is designed for a wide, uh, sorry, yeah, 1080p or 720s or in a not, but mainly a nine. Uh, excuse me, it's uh, about 4:30 a.m. here. Uh, a 16 by 9 screen is what it's designed for. I imagine the videos will look a bit squished and and not so good on on other on another ratio. So in the link below, I'm going to share the files, but I just thought I'd step you through what you're getting and and how you might use them. So. Uh, Let's have a look. So it's about, I think it's a bit over 15 gig um, what I'm sharing. So it's it's quite big, I suppose. But um, I'll just explain to you what you're getting. There's three things. There'll be a layouts folder, a menu uh, folder, uh, and a text file. And they're sitting inside an attract mode folder. So anyone who uses attract mode will know that the, there's actually an attract mode folder attract mode folder so I'm just sending some files that go inside there I'll just open this text file and explain what it is so on each row and I think there's over 400 so it's 435 systems collections you know consoles computers etc covered by this theme so on each row the first item is the display or the collection or the console or the handheld computer etc and then it's separated by the separator and then the words next to that is the name of the layout or the theme that um, you would apply to that display and I'll show you what I mean in a minute if you don't know already uh, so for computers consoles handheld con uh, collections etc they're all a little bit different the, the, the theme or the layout so you need to apply the, the right one so that's all that is. Might do menu art first. So inside your attract mode build, you'll have a track mode, and then you'll have a menu art folder. And inside your menu menu art folder, you'll have a snap folder. Now you, you'll already have videos in there. Um, you don't want to overwrite your videos with my videos. So what I would do. I'll even just show you what I do on, on mine. So my track mode menu art. I have a snap folder, but you'll also see I have a snap, a ridge. You know, you just need to rename it to something so you don't overwrite it. So I call mine a ridge, you call it snap original or old or previous or keep, something like that, just so you don't overwrite them. Now inside that snap folder. There's 445 videos, and these are full screen, 16 by 9, 1080p, except for about 60 computer ones where I went on a, a big binge making them, and I'd made 60 odd that are, are 1280 by 720. A bit disappointed about that, but I may rectify that one day, but I just after finishing this project, I'm a little bit burned out. So, for instance, well, handhelds, if I play the handheld video, that's what it is. Um, so, I can't stress enough, don't overwrite your videos. Rename that folder before you extract this in and paste it to your build. So, that's the menu art snap folder. As I said, they're all full screen videos and they're used for the menus, which I'll, I'll show in a minute. The other layouts folder, 
uh, has the, the layouts or the themes, whatever you want to call them. This shouldn't override anything because I don't know how you'd already have my these layouts unless you snuck into my house. <laughs> Alright, so um, there's one for arcades, collections, computers, uh, consoles, handhelds, uh, menus, other and pinball. Um, others only used for two things, I think, which is pop cap and IGT slots, so they won't get used much. Uh, and menus is one for the main menus and nested menus that display full screen videos, which I'll demonstrate in a minute. So, and inside these, it's just the, the general files, but there are a whole heap of sound files for when you're scrolling uh, through the um, through the ROMs, etc. There's a whole heap of pointers. Uh, there's 260 odd G logos, which I'll explain a little bit later when I demonstrate the theme properly. Oh, oh, flyers here. So in the different layouts, the flyers may be different. So here we've got arcade caps, but in consoles, it'll be actually like a poster. All right, so that's the files you're going to get. So you're getting an attract mode folder, extract that and put these into your build. And then you'll have, obviously have a few steps to enable um, these themes. So let's boot up attract mode and have a look. Okay, so this is the game room menus layout used here. And you can see all it is, it actually plays a full screen snap, so all that is actually just a video snap, and the wheel art's just um, obviously gradually disappearing. And even in the sub menu, so if I go into consoles, it's using the game room menus theme still, which is a full screen snap, and the wheel art is disappearing. This is a few little things like the characters on the shelf in the top left there. If you keep watching them, they blink their eyes and a few things like that. And then it just has a video preview of the, um, the system on the TV in this case. So if I go to the handhelds, it's a different st style again, but similar. There's the snap on a on a screen. The like chairs. There's all these sort of banners. There's over a hundred of those. Different collections covered. Hacks. It's only half a dozen or so of those. Got Bowser hiding behind the door there, blinking his eye. Pinball. I've only got three on air feature pinball. Visual pinball and pinball FX2. Uh, the theme does cover FX3 and uh, pinball arcade. Utilities. All games. So all games uses menus as well because. We're in collections here, but when you get past collections, yeah, see what I mean? Uh, oh, well, computers, bit of a quick look. Oh, so there's the slot, so that's using the game room menus other, and PopCap does the same. We won't do that just yet. And then you've got arcades. Now the arcades all have five um, animated arcade machines. Some have got pinball and gumball machines, etc. And the the selected system, the one you're looking at, is always the one focused in, in the center with the sound enabled. So that's that. Um, what do we want to look at next? So, everything you've seen so far has been using game room menus. Now, I don't know for those, I'm guessing most of you use a trackpad, so you know to press the tab on the keyboard, go into displays, pick your display like Semi Thomas Wave. No, not that one. I want to pick. So consoles, and you've got the layout. That's where you change it there. So that's game room menus. That's the one we've been talking about. Maybe we go into maybe 
All right. So now we're getting into ones that are using the game room, uh, other la the layouts that I've seen in the zip. So this will be game room arcades. They're all similar in the fact that they just have a big snap in the middle, a bit of details underneath it. And on the right hand side, it'll usually be, if it's a computer, it'll be like a computer look, or if it's a console, it'll be a TV. Um, this is obviously okay. And sometimes I'm repeating the snap uh, appearing in the little cabinet or on the TV on the, on the right hand side. Get the pointer there. They'll set up to, uh, to to vanish, so it displays the artwork. These things popping in from the left hand side are called G logos. Let me turn this uh, uh, G logos. So G logos is nothing new. And if you see on there the little red fist where it says fighter, on most builds you'll see some sort of G logo like that, where it's just displaying what sort of category is fighter or a shooter or. A, a casino game, a maze game, puzzle game, etc. So I've made mine into these biggest like pull-up banner styles just to suit the theme because it's like a, a room and it's like a big advertisement. Um, now there's, a, I think there's about 26 different G logos uh, categories normally and there still is only 26 but what I've done is I've made 10, 10 for each so there's 260 and the theme is set up to randomly pick one to throw it in. So you can see that fighter there with that character. If I go up one and down one, it's fighter, fighter's changed, up one, down one, fighter's changed, up one, down one, fighter's changed, up one, down one, fighter's changed. So it picks um, randomly from the 10. That doesn't mean you can't get the same one like five times in a row, but um, at least it just sort of mixes it up a bit. You, over time, you'll just get, if there was only the one for fighter, you'd just see it all the time, all the time, all the time. So yeah, I've tried to do something a bit different there. Let's have a quick look at computers. Again, they're all the full screen snaps. The one I like, because it has... Good art, I can't find it. Just because it has box and card art on my build, I'm a bit, a bit slack on some of the media. So computers, yeah, it looks like that. So you got a poster on top right of computer playing the same snap on the big screen, and same the G, G logos, paddle, sports, paddle, sports, paddle. Yeah. So okay, so it's computers. Consoles, very similar to computers, so a computer on the right hand side, the TV and the poster is a bit bigger. Let's go back, handhelds, handhelds is always a bit tricky because it's, you usually have little small screens, so I come up with an idea of putting on like a movie projector. Let's go into Lynx. So Lynx is a bit basic, although I just made the post on the right hand side quite large. Collections. It uses all these banners that are sort of similar, or basically the exact same style to the G logos. So the one the, in the center, obviously you've got the snap and the collection you're looking at. And then on the right hand side, it just sort of um, random ones, but they're actually full screen snaps. But before I go into uh, Contra, it puts the collection banner that you just saw in the menus one on the right hand side so you know what collection you're in, and then on the left hand side, G logos again. So you can see Shooter. And of course, there's unknown, but if the scraping's not um, up to date or it covers everything, which it never does, so there's 10 different unknown ones as well. I have contemplated increasing that 10 to 15 or 20, but yeah, it's a lot of work. Okay, hacks.
Hex actually uses handhelds from memory, because it's the exact same theme. Pinball. Well, Scott, there was an idea to bring together a group of So just has a little pinball on the right on the right hand pinball machine on the right hand side, and he's putting the snap in the back glass. See there. The utilities uses the same. And then all games uses the full screen. But if you go into one, obviously it uses whether it's arcade, handheld, etc. The only thing I wanted to probably last thing I wanted to show you probably there's not many options in these things to change the style, so See the box and card art. Actually, PlayStation's got a good one. Let's try Genesis. So the box and card art are animated in on the, on the floor there. If you press Tab, go to Displays. Go to and change Layout Options. You can change the game media style to static. So now it's just changing, it's not animated. It's just a personal preference. Um, but for those who've used the track mode a bit or don't understand it, they'll know this, but if you don't, I just wanted to explain something. So this is using game room consoles layout. So that setting we just changed applies for that layout across any system. So now if I go to uh, Gen oh, we were in Genesis. If I get a Dreamcast, see how the boxing card art aren't animated. If I go back into change some settings, and I'll go back to because we're on Dreamcast. What I'll do is I'll go to Genesis and change it to animated. But you'll see now even on Dreamcast it's anima animated. So that's um, let's see, that's that. So guys, look, it's it's a big theme, I suppose. It's personal taste. I don't care if you don't like it. Don't use it. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you do want to give it a try, give it a try. If you've got any questions, you can just put them in the comments, or you can email me at hurstyd at gmail.com. If you think there's a system or something missing that you might like, yeah, shoot me a, a message. I might consider, yeah making it or adding it. I like to, to grow things and I don't have all the ideas, especially I don't even really game much anymore. So yeah, try it out and um, yeah, thanks for your time. Appreciate all, all the people that support me and um, starting to get towards the end of this hobby, I think, and I'm sort of running out of ideas, but I don't know, something usually pops into my head and I'll give it a go. I've got nothing better to do. So yeah, cheers from down under. Appreciate it. Thanks very much, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.